Hey guys, what's up? Anchor Ranger here. Today we are looking at the optional mini bosses throughout the game of Persona 4 Golden right now. And how can you unlock these boss fights? Well, clear the dungeon. Now these uh, boss fights are available in the enemy. first playthrough of the Persona. game for yourselves. It doesn't really do much for you guys to play through this, do all these bosses uh, in your first playthrough. Unless you just want to boost in your turn. Now, second so play through, these will unlock turn. a special boss fight, which will be in a later video. So, as you can see, this guy is using a fire resistance, and I totally forgot to change um, for the tech tier for you to go. In case you guys are wondering, I am actually doing this boss fight right when the second dungeon for Kanji Tatsumi opens. The Kanji dungeon opens up in, I believe, it's like May. So we're just going to kind of wipe him out with our overpowered main character, our protagonist. We're going to wipe him out real quick here. And what's going to happen is each time we defeat a boss in the dungeon, we're going to actually get a new um, item. And usually it's a weapon for the character whose dungeon we're in. So I don't know how the hell Chie and Yukiko do this move. I don't know. I'm not going to play because we just took him out. Play and simple. These bosses are pretty easy when you're playing New Game Plus and you can use your overpowered persona. So you see we get some experience points and our courage increases. And we're able to just go in, beat them, and we're going to walk around real quick and try to find the item. So each dungeon has one of these with the exception of the very, very, very last dungeon. So we're going to fast forward here. We're in Kanji's dungeon now. We are right before we take on uh, Shadow Rise. And we're going to open the door here, and we're actually going to take down this boss. As you can see, we're using the same party members as we did last time. And we're going to have to fight this guy. Uh, I don't think these bosses really have a weakness per se, but we're going to be using uh, our overpowered persona to take it out. It looks like actually we're using Kanji instead of Yosuke right now because I wanted to level up Kanji a little bit. Uh, usually what I end up doing is I end up, when I'm playing these games and I go back in to do the next dungeon before I go in the dungeon and go in and fight these bosses, I take the newest party members, the lower level party members, and bring them in with me and kind of work through the entire game. So right now we're going to use uh, the charge move and we're actually going to charge up Chie as well. So if you're wondering, we're a lot higher level. We're definitely in the level 50s for most of our main party. Uh, if not a little higher, so we're going to have to use Joe Kulich to him up Aggie 9. And we totally forgot to change uh, Kanji's uh, tactics to have him do what we want him to do. That's actually something we have to do manually. I keep forgetting about that, but we're able to wipe him out pretty quickly. Uh, he is weak to electricity. That's something I forgot, and he's going to be able to do that before he's done. Kind of really get a string of moves going on. Now, since we did use the power charge move, we can do a really strong physical attack, so let's try Primal Force here. And that'll wipe him out. So there you go. We took care of the boss fight in Kanji's dungeon. We're going to move forward to the next one uh, momentarily. You see, we're already level 53. So that's a good way to kind of blow through some of these bosses. Kanji got some levels out of that. And we're able to pick up a new weapon for Kanji in this, uh, in this room once we clear it out. And like I said, each boss, you want to beat them all within a certain time period before the very last day of the game to unlock the special boss fight in New Game Plus. So actually, we're going to just move forward here. Uh, if we take a few steps forward, we'll be able to get the item here. Uh, and it's it's a decent weapon. I don't know if it's the best weapon you can get in the game. It's not the best weapon you can get for Kanji, but it's a pretty suitable weapon for him for the time being. So now we're going to fast forward here. We're right outside of Risei's dungeon here. And we're getting ready to take care of Risei's boss. Uh, really creepy. And right now, in case you're wondering where we are, we're actually about ready to go into Kubo's dungeon. So we're trying to give you guys a time frame for where One we are. Enemy on the field. Most of our characters are in the level 70s right now, 60s, 70s. So we're actually going to be able to really clear this guy out completely. We're using the same persona for our protagonist as we did in the last fight. So we're going to use the to same go. basic... Um, strategy here just overpower the guys and make it a lot quicker that's our ultimate goal we want to kind of speed through these they don't give us a lot of experience points we just get a cool item and we get a boost in our courage now if you're playing this first time you're gonna have to kind of really work your way through it and be uh smart about it if you're like me and you grind these bosses shouldn't be too hard i highly recommend being a little bit higher than what you normally would be if you want you guys go in right before the very 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 last day for the very last boss Enemy down. in the game before you go in that last dungeon the spoiler dungeon and you can go in and fight all these guys and it'll be fine and you don't have to worry about doing it when you go in and do the next dungeon i like to do it that way because it just gives me um uh, i can remember i did them if i actually wait until last day i'll probably forget and then i would never get the next bit so we took him out we're actually going to get an item for Teddy, because if you guys remember, we fought Shadow Teddy here. 
So everyone's in their 80s, so we're going to move on. And we're going to actually go forward here. we got to kind of walk around here to the side here. It's somewhere in the chairs. I forget where it is. And yeah, it's a bear claw we get. So we're going to actually go forward here, and we're going to go to the Kubo's Dungeons. You can see 922, in case you're wondering. This is right around Naoto's Dungeon. So we are using Teddy and Kanji. We're bringing Best Girl uh, Yukiko with us to take down this thing. Uh, we're well, actually using a different great. persona now, Darkness because you guys works. remember, we actually fused the Nagi no Okami here. And that is my personal favorite persona in the game uh, for now. Uh, and we already reached Max Mike with Yukiko, so she has her updated persona. And Whoa, we're going to have to try to figure out the best way to take this guy down with a weaker Last party one. here. Go for it. Uh, Kanji is not as Kanji and Come Teddy are not as high up levels as everyone else uh, in the party. I think they're probably about like 15, 20 levels lower. So we're going to really just rely on the main character, the protagonist, and you got to kind of do everything. So we did use Mind Charge, which will increase our magic. So we're actually going to use Nikodolan on the guy. And it's going to allow us to take down decent amount of damage for him so we'll continue doing the same strategy just bombarding him with our higher level magic for now i think he's actually immune to um, not immune but physical skills won't do much to him so we're gonna go in here with kanji now and kanji now we actually use with the physical up increase and we're actually gonna wipe him out there so he did resist physical attacks so we did just take care of that one now to taken care of, and I think we actually have one of the last ones. Uh, we have to go over here to the bone area. Boom, done. Got the Gaia sword. That is actually for our main character since he doesn't have a dungeon. We're gonna move forward now to Naoto Shirogane's dungeon. We're all wearing our Neo Featherman costumes, kind of matching with the aesthetic here. And yes, we are using Naoto in this fight with uh, Teddy and it looks like we're using Kanji too. So we might be at a bit of a disadvantage here. And since we ranked up with Risei, we are able to see the thing, the enemy's weakness, so we're actually going to just bombard it with wind attacks. It would have been best to bring Yosuke into this fight, because Yosuke's magic is wind-based. So we're going to kind of just, you know, use our main character, our protagonist. He has Magaru dying with Izanaki no Okami, so we're just going to keep wiping him out. You see, it's got a higher hit points, I feel like, than the other ones. So, and the good thing here is, look who also has Garudine, that would be Naoto. Naoto can do the same thing, so twice we can attack it in one turn and hit its weak spot. And really focus on just hitting in the weak spot and getting the all-out attack here. And once we actually get this all-out attack through... We should be about halfway through. Yeah, so the all-out attack does more damage than our wind attack. And the cool thing is, now we get a, a duo tandem move from Kanji and Naoto. I don't know how much damage it's going to do, but... Uh, 358. It's decent damage. So Teddy's kind of useless right now. So with Teddy, we're going to try to find an item that does wind damage. Uh, I believe that would be the pinwheel. And it'll only do about 50 damage, which is fine. Because what we're really worried about right now is getting through this and uh, also just getting the all-out attack in and just moving on. Any day now, Teddy. Any day we figure this out. So we're just going to throw this at him. It's going to hit him in weak spot. We're now officially at the halfway point. And it's going to be time to kind of wipe him out. It's not really going to do the wipe out here because I think we have to go through this whole turn. Uh, yeah, Kanji can't, do, Kanji can't do anything here. So we're actually going to do Mind Charge for our protagonist. So we're able to uh, move on and do the next move here. Alright, so we're going to Mind Charge again with Naoto. Really, Mind Charge is a great move if you're a more magic user. We're going to use that a lot because it's going to double our magic attack in our next turn. And then Power Charge is the same thing, but with physical attacks, which is great for Chie, and it's great for Kanji. Uh, those are mainly the main party members we're going to use. At this point in the game, I'm really kind of switching back and forth between having Naoto, uh, Yukiko, Chie, and our protagonist in the party, and that's really our main go. And it looks like we're going to actually wipe this guy out right now. And that should take care of him once we hit this all-out attack real quick. And here we go. That should take care of now, Toast. So we have about one or two more. And now that we got that taken care of, we're able to go and get the next item. I think it's actually a decent item for um, Naoto to really use, which is great. You see, we're all in the level 80s about right now, so that's pretty good right there. 
So yep, yeah, there we go. We got uh, Aldranon, which is an okay weapon. We're gonna probably equip it to Nana Nalto. And now we go forward to Nanako's dungeon. It's hard to believe that Nanako has an actual dungeon for us to focus on. In case you're wondering, yes, we're doing this on 12.2, which is right before we actually do the final boss uh, in the main story. And oh, we're still good. using our lesser work. party members with Kanji and Teddy. But we are using Naoto here, so this might be a bit of a challenge. So we're going to use it. We're going to definitely do some charging here. Uh, mind charge and power charge will be our best friends right now. You see Naoto's social link is maxed out. And is Teddy? Yep, Teddy's social link is also maxed out. So it blocks physical attacks here to so nullify there. Which kind of makes Teddy and Kanji kind of useless. Kanji social link maxed out as well by his evolved persona. I'm, I'm having a hard time. So the magic walls are right so magic's going to be useless. So, and we go, oh shit, we went with a physical attack, that's fine, oh shit, uh, we're gonna have to figure this out real quick, cause he, he literally just kinda screwed us over, we can't use physical attack, so let's use this item, it's gonna reflect back on us, but that should really just be fine now, nope, looks like he's still gonna reflect our magic, actually ice healed him? Yeah, damage resistant to ice, so we're kind of screwed right now. Let's go back to using electricity and kanji. I feel like this fight's going to take longer than it needs to be. Uh, <laughs> we were not prepared for this. We use Nigadolan. That is my solution to everything. We have, uh, yep, 442. That's not even great. Okay, so we know it's damage resistant to wind. Uh, not wind. Uh, uh, it's quite tenacious. No. Oh. Wind is actually good, so he's damage resistant to ice, and electricity doesn't do great for him. On, Teddy is useless in this situation, because physical attacks are useless, and ice is useless in this point, so we're just going to kind of have to wing it and go with what we're going with here. And, let's see. We mind charge again with our protagonist here. And then I'll be able to get us into uh, the next oh, move where we able, if we actually get it next turn, which we have to, because we're doing the same thing with Naruto here. We're actually going to be able to focus on <laughs> taking Come him on down now. next turn. Lay down and die already. He's only about halfway down, and as you as you guys can see, progressively through each of these bosses, they do get uh, a little bit tougher, even if you are a higher level. So I definitely highly recommend being in your upper 80s. Uh, 90s around now. Uh, I know it doesn't seem like that much, but we're not really struggling against him. But we can have, you, you can have modifiers to up your damage, up your experience in pace. Right, as well, you can get a lot of experience points there. Kanji only level 91 now, and that takes care of all those uh, bosses. And now we're able to get one last item here, and we have one more optional boss. It's not really an optional boss; it's an encouraged boss. But by doing all these bosses here, we unlock the super secret. Uh, awesome, ultra rare, new game plus boss, and now we just have to make sure we take care of the Reaper. So we got lucky here in the very, very final dungeon, the very last day, pulling out the Reaper here. Uh, we're all max level, as you can tell. The Reaper is actually a really tough boss. I think he's probably the second toughest boss in the game, and we're gonna have to try to beat him here. Um, it's different than fighting him in Persona 5. And Persona 5 Royal, I think it's a lot tougher. So we're going to focus on using our power and mind charges. And at this One point, all our, all our characters are going to have their best Persona moves. Persona. Everything's going to be great for our uh, characters here. Um, we're using Makahala for uh, protagonist right now. I couldn't do it. And at this Let's point go. in time, since we're in that special golden semester, all our characters have their third form Personas. Yes. I and that means in order to get those in case you're wondering, we actually have to max out all of our social links. Persona. And then in the new few months, the new month in January, we have to spend time with all of our social links and be able to um, get them to rank, uh, to evolve. So Chie, we're going to actually really hurt Chie here by using God Hand. This should be some heavy damage, so. And there you see, the Reaper is definitely the toughest boss in the game. By far, bar none, uh, due to the fact that he can easily kill us, no problem. So we're going to use Yoshitsune's Hasutobi move, and as you see, that did a shit ton of damage. And I say a shit ton of damage because eight, eight, it does light damage times eight. I know that doesn't, oh, light damage, light damage is not that great. When it's 300 hit, 300 damage per uh, attack, we're talking about doing a grand total of over 2400 damage. 
I couldn't defeat it. And it looks like I was always she I'm always worried when I'm getting ready to fight Paint there. Reaper. So I always suggest making sure you can turn retries on in battles. Up. Having retries on in battles Jeez, is gonna be very high. helpful Quit for the so really, really, healing. really, really, really tough ones. So all we have to do is one more move, and we're actually gonna take out the Reaper here. And there we go. So now that we beat the Reaper, we beat all the optional oh, sub-bosses right, in the game won. except for the last one. It. And what we're going to get is we're going to get a special item just for whichever character uh, we don't have it for. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to our special mini-boss fight. I'll see you guys next time. Chia Senpai, your health's pretty low. We're all jumping on Maze of Relations.